Let me sit down. Let me sit down. Moment of truth. Yeah, we're going to talk about LSU baseball. We're really going to get into this thing. Let's get into the muck of this because I don't have takes. I don't. This is not a show about takes. It's a show about conversation. And that's what we're going to have. We're going to have a nice little conversation about what happened this weekend. And it's not. And I think if you brought if you brought any of those guys into the into this room, and you didn't put them on air, and you said, "Hey, this is let's have a let's have a conversation about what happened." None of them are going to be happy. None of them are going to have excuses of what happened. They're going to say, hey, we just didn't play well. We came out flat, and we got our mm-hmm. ass kicked, and that's what happened. But they were hot. They've been playing well, and at this juncture in the season, that can't happen. Like, if you want to get to be where you want to be, and you want to, be in the, you want to have a chance to host not, and to get, to get to Omaha and to get to the World Series, hosting and having home games in the postseason is – crucial to get there it makes the job a lot easier it makes the route the the road to omaha a lot cleaner and you all but squandered that op that that, that opportunity to host the postseason game by getting swept at home to a team that now granted they're good they're hot and they outplayed you but you can't you have got to salvage one of those you've got to win one you've got to win one and they didn't and now they have to You're go. Asking for a super tall task. And this is look, we talked about at the beginning of the season when they struggled, and we said, I said, man, you know, they have to. They don't want to look up at the end of the season and say, okay, we have to win. We're in a must. Now they're not in must win games. They're going to make the postseason. But if they go out to Vandy and they get swept at Vandy, you're going to hold. That is not good. But I, I said at the beginning of the season, you don't want to leave your. You don't want to leave the season up to. Going to Vandy and having to win at Vanderbilt because that's a hard place to play. Vanderbilt's good; they're not as good as they probably anticipated being, but they're still a top five RPI team. They're they're over five hundred, I think, in the SEC. Like they are playing good baseball, and they're a team that can beat anybody in the country. And now you've put yourself in a position where you don't necessarily have to win all of the games, but if you want if you want to reach your goals to, win, to winning two out of three next weekend is crucial now it's a thursday friday saturday series you basically you by, by getting swept here this weekend you basically turn the rest of whatever is left in the season honestly into playoff baseball kind of where it's at right now and, and i don't mean it in a win and go home obviously because the regional's not losing go i mean losing go home because the regional's not losing go home but from here on out like you're it's it's playoff baseball yeah now and that's what and that's and that that's was the scary thing about the Ole miss series because Ole miss has been playoff baseball for the last three weekends yeah because they have like they dug themselves such a hole that they had to win. And yeah, it's like now listen, you go out to Vanderbilt and you take two out of three, and then you go to you go to the SC tournament and you're probably a top four or five seat in the tournament. You go ahead and you win two or three games in the tournament, you put yourself in a position maybe to to get back into that hosting, but your your work is I'll, seriously and I'll, and cut I'll out. Give, I'll give them this too, because like they played well at home, right? Obviously. Yeah. The record's been good at home. Um, I don't even know exactly what the record is on the road, but I think we can all agree when people have basically like looked at them and stepped up to them on the road, they've become the problem. Like they've become a good team. So maybe them getting in that mindset of yeah. backs against the wall, every time, maybe yeah. that now will help them. Every you know? time, every time they were put in that position to where like, oh fuck, you know, we got swept at Arkansas. Boom, swept the next weekend. I was gonna. Oh, you talking shit to us? Oh, yeah, okay, we're, we're right here. Right. So, like, maybe that'll help. I was gonna piggyback on that point. I mean, last year that Ole Miss team is was a lot of parallels to last year's LSU's team, and that was a young team last year. And it's like, shit, we did this last year, boys. We gotta do it again. It's not yeah. something we want to do, but there's the blueprint follow it from last year. And you're no saying, doubt. I mean, you look at Florida. That first game, Florida, their starter was talking shit. You know, talking shit to Barry, and it's just like, I think when this team gets punched in the jaw. Caged animal mode has to Right, come but here's the deal. You can't wait for that. Because not sometimes you're not gonna get punched in the jaw until it's too late. It's right? Like now. This, yeah, right. Like you mm. need to be able to go out there and, and have the juice from the first inning. I mean, Ole Miss every game was ahead of uh now yeah, I think every game they took the lead. Was night one when Cruz hit the home run? The two run yeah, that was yeah. it. That was the only yeah, game. game. And then that, that, that game got rained out. Right? Yeah, the yeah, first yeah. inning, two run home run that game got rained out. But every other game Ole Miss had the lead to start to see, like you. Game it was an uphill. It was an uphill battle from right. from the first inning on, right? And so, like you said, the one real positive though is 
they are going to make the playoffs, right? Yeah. But now it's, like I said, it's it's go time now, really. Yeah, I mean, you don't want to go and travel to Texas or, you know, they're not going to put an S, it's you and an SU, but they're not, you don't want to go to Texas or some other, you don't want to go to Oregon State. Who was our region? You know, like pre- Oregon before State. Before the series, our regional oh. Roberta host was going to be us, McNeese, and then there was two more. Us, McNeese, State. Dallas Baptist, uh, yeah, and NC State. NC State. DBU, yeah. Yeah. Oof, God, that was still a tough one. DBU. And so, yeah. but yeah, but like that, and now you are, like now if you end up hosting, it's going to be a hard regional. Right, which is okay. I'd rather you host and have a hard regional than not host and go play Cupcake. one of the top, you know, ten seeds in the country. Right? It's just they've they've they they had they had put themselves in a position, a really good position leading up to this weekend, and now they've that position that they had is not there anymore, and that it dissolved quickly, and you know they they've got to figure some things out. They've got to have now. Uh, Hasty pitched well on Sunday. Yep, he got he's, a big uh, pickle. Yeah, what's that? You gotta have that huge pickle. I think what was it, in the third when the babies yeah. were juiced. Yeah, yep, yeah. yep. He uh, he threw really well. Interesting tactic by Jay. <laughs> Jay said that even like so, I was watching the game and Dutton, who's been pitching every Sunday, threw to one batter. That batter hit a double in the gap, which I should have been an out. I think. I know, like. I think if you ask Dugod, Dugod would have said that he probably should have caught that ball, but they gave him a double. Dutton gets taken out the game. And I'm like, what are we? And he didn't just throw to one batter. It was one, one pitch. pitch. It was one it was pitch. Single pitch. Yeah, it was the first pitch of the game. Yeah. Here's, my, a, here's my question because I really didn't see. I didn't get to that part of the game. Like I wasn't. I wasn't watching it yet. Was anyone even warming up in the pen yet? Uh, I, I think like, so. Like, so, so. So that's that's what I'm getting to. So then I was wondering the whole time. Like now Sunday. I had a nice little day. We had friends at the house. I was at the pool. I was grilling. I had a couple libations. I was like, God damn, when are we going to put that in? There? I had a couple <laughs> libations. We had some cornhole going. There wasn't a lot. It was probably six or seven of oh. us, but like the game was on. So I was watching the game, yeah. but I was also uh, in, a, in a very um, relaxed right. state of mind. So I don't know if somebody was, was warming up or not, but then after, I was curious, like, what do we do? Why are we taking him out after one pitch? So then Jay comes in after and says that that was his plan all along. His plan was to start Dutton. He was only going to pitch to that one hitter and then bring in Hasty after him. And I was like, "Well, I don't, I don't, I'm confused." So then, was some, so then was it so really, Hasty must have been warming up. Did we did we go anthem? Dutton's warming up the first eight <laughs> pitches on the mound, and Hasty's in the pen already getting yeah. hot. Yeah, yeah that had to have been it. Have you ever seen? No. So <laughs> so I've seen the opener. But the opener usually goes the first inning. Yeah, the first right. inning. Right? I've never seen someone start the game and pitch to one hitter and then take him out. So, yeah. like, especially a guy who's been starting for you and going three, right. four innings every every Sunday. So, I don't know. Also, I really was hoping that Jay would come on because I, I wanted to hear his thought process yeah. on that because I don't know. I don't know. I, that doesn't make sense to me, but I'm not the coach. I've never coached. I don't, would never want to coach. Right. From the outside but, looking in, like, yeah. I obviously don't. I'm not in the staff. I don't know what's going on. Right? Like, but – my thought, my thought process of it is, one, it's tough to see to watch one pitch and then right. a guy come out. Two, it'd be even tougher. Just to me, just as tough if he was just throwing to the first hitter. But my thought process of it is, is that we only got two innings out of McHale. Right. We don't have a solidified Saturday starter yet, so the bullpen's Sunday, already really. taxed. Yeah, that's a tough day. Right. Down two zero in that series to basically say it's a bullpen day when you. I'm not saying you have to, but like. I would I would think you would try to get extended innings at least something out of them, and it's hard. I agree. And it's it, tough to watch him throw one pitch yeah. and then he's cooked. And I, I will say this: it is a hard. Well, I don't want to put it all on the pitching staff, and I don't want to put it all on Jay. Like, make it, the offense did not perform the way they should have. Like, hey, if you are if your pitching staff is struggling, yeah, and you have a bullpen day and the guy starters aren't going deep. You're going to have to out-hit these teams. You're going to have to bang with these guys, and you're going to have to score, and you're going to have to do the things that we need to do. I know Barry's out, but that's no excuse. You have other guys that are very capable of of driving guys in, scoring runs, getting hits, um, and the offense did not do that. And sometimes that happens, but it just – everything happened at the wrong time. Like, it just – it all – pitching wasn't great, defense wasn't great. Offense wasn't great, and it all happened in one weekend for three straight games against a, a, a basically a, a pivotal series to be able to put yourself in a in a position and for I, the postseason. I think I think that that morning turnaround on Saturday, uh, 
though that's got to be a huge learning like learning spot for that team to understand that nothing happened for the what the, the rest of the seven innings that they played that day but you have to find a way to win that game yeah yeah they didn't do anything offensively we didn't do anything offensively but they did enough to win the game. Yeah, that has to be you on the other side if you want to go where you yeah. want to go. Especially at home. At home. That's what, Especially that, at that's home. That's my point. That's what I'm saying. Like you're at home, you have to be the team to scratch one across right there. And we didn't do it. They and look, they put outside of the second game on Saturday, the 11 to one game. They put themselves in a position both games to have a chance to win or tie, and they they didn't, ended up not getting those strike those big hits. Um, yeah. Um, was it game one? Was it bottom of the eighth when the bases are juiced, cruises on deck, and then who punches out? Who was Duga? No, it was a Pier- Stevenson. Pearson? Someone punched out. Someone punched out. I'm Cruz not sure. Everyone's like, like, you gotta get Cruz on. You're like, you gotta, you gotta, yeah. you gotta. Whatever no, you do, you gotta. You do. It's just, it's, look, the lineup has been well, playing really well. And, and you can't l- uh, just rely on one guy to be the guy all every time. You have other, other guys you need to step up, and they have been. And this weekend they didn't, and you saw what happened, and you lose all three games, and you put yourselves you put yourself in a position. Now you're fourteen and thirteen, and is it fourteen and thirteen? Yeah, fourteen and 14 thirteen. And 13. Yeah, you're fourteen and thirteen in conference, and you know you now look, you go sixteen and fourteen, and you go win a couple games, you have a well, chance. But you know this uh, this weekend is going to be hard. It's a tough, tough weekend, and. You know, Jay's got some some moves to make. He's got to figure out who's going to be the rotation. I think money probably goes back in the rotation next yeah. week. I mean, nobody else has stepped up right. to to take that role. I think he goes in, or you put Hasty in there as a starter on Saturday. I mean, I'm gonna give my flowers to Ty Floyd. He bridged the gap. I mean, Ty he, Floyd. Ty Floyd is the one bright spot. Ty yeah, Floyd I mean, may be a starter. I mean, I'm gonna give my flowers. So his breaking ball looks great. Yeah. Spin. No, he uh. Ty Floyd pitched very well. Bridged it very well. I he, mean, he gave up a homer, but other than that, after after that, whenever he came in and did that, I thought that he was. I thought that was going to be the big difference from the weekend. I think he. I thought he saved the bullpen. I was like, this is going to be. I know we didn't. We didn't come back and win the game in the ninth, but we only threw one pitcher mm-hmm. that game outside of Mikhail. Like you saved the bullpen. It was huge, and then. You know, it didn't really work out the way we, we anticipated. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's tough. It's like they were, it looked like Ole Miss was hitting off a tee in game two. Yeah. I mean, look, Ole Miss can bang. swing it, dude. Yeah. Elko swing. I mean, they have guys that – they have some juice. They have, the guy on Sunday went once to center field. Like, it's yeah. – they can swing it. And Jay knew it. The team knew it. Ole Miss knew it. Everyone knew it. And they they just outperformed, yeah. outperformed us. And that, there's, that, that can't happen in that situation – in the game. Now you got to go. Listen, I, I want baseball in the box here. Like I really do. In the postseason, it's fun. I like going to the games. Um, they're gonna, the boys are going to have to pull off some pulmonary magic because yeah, when we were there, we Maneri would always win. The tournament was always a big for the tie. We'd always yeah. make a run in the tournament. So I'd like to see them try to do that to put themselves it's, in a position to host. I, I, would, I, would, I would go out on a limb and say however long Jay-Z or whether it's – 30 years, like you just, however long he's here coaching here, I would say that this weekend would probably go in as like top five of probably worst weekends that they've had. Yeah, he's going to look, there's a learning curve. Yeah. Coming from the Pac-12 to the SEC, that's a big jump. That's a big difference, right? Like you have the talent levels up, and you can ask you, you can ask him. The pressure you can ask, up. Too. Yeah, the you pressure. Know, like, you come to this Alex, part of the season, mm-hmm. and there's just, there's just a little more attention. LSU's a pressure cooker, just, dude. It is what it is, man. It's a pressure cooker in every sport, right? This is it's South Louisiana playing here, playing at LSU, coaching at LSU. Like it is a pressure cooker situation always, and you know that's a hard thing to deal with. That's especially if you've never had to deal with that before. And there's some there's some bumps and bruises that you're, he's going to have to go through. And I, I would hope that he would make the adjustments. And I think he knows there's things that he needs to do as a coach, whether it's recruit different types of players or whatever it is. But to me, it's not the recruiting, like the player, the, 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 the roster that he inherited was very good. Yeah. yeah. You know, like <laughs> these guys are the number one recruiting class in the country a few years ago. These guys have guys throwing 95 plus on the mound. You have three all American. You had four all Americans on your team before you even brought Jacob Berry over. Yeah. And they're not even draft eligible. Yet. And so, yeah, like it's, you can't. You had the ability to have. You already had a good squad, and so 
you know, there's going to be some, there's going to be this, a, a period where he's going to have to figure out, okay, this maybe worked at Arizona, but this doesn't work here. What's the team's perspective mentally? Like you say, the pressure cookers up. You just got, you just got your teeth kicked in. Ole Miss. You got, you got your teeth kicked in. You got to, you got to regroup, come in today and say, fuck it. As we got to go out there and I'll fucking just, well, play. I was about to say this. Like as weird as it sounds, this is largely in part pretty much the same team that played last year, who was in much more of a worse fight or flight situation. So it's kind of a little bit of both. Like you got a new staff to this league, you got pretty much the same players in this league. It's going to take a coming together of both of them to understand where they are and where they kind of need to go. You know I mean, and being able to do it together. The only thing. Hopefully, there's no you know finger pointing and any of that yeah. going on in there. You know. The only big difference is last year was just. I mean, Landon Marceau pitched. That Oregon game, it was to a point where it's like, oh my god. Well, Landon Marshall God. is going to be in the big leagues. And it's just like, we don't do have we that have, guy. We don't have, we don't have a star like that right now. Then it's going to have to be the bullpen. It's just like, oh my yeah, god. Yeah, like, we don't guys. have it now. We may, like, look, Taylor may be able to come out and, like, he's, he throws he throws hard. Like, he may, like, guys could step up, but, like, this moment right now, we don't have a first, second rounder on the mound that's going to be Can in the big leagues. Can still win that way? It's very hard. You, got, yeah, you, know, you, you have, have to, to play perfect baseball. It. Yeah, but you have to play perfect baseball because if it doesn't go well, then you know you're you're depleting a, a bullpen. You're, these guys are gonna have to have a lot of innings and a lot of pitches on the arms throughout the course of the postseason. Yeah. Especially if you don't win, the f- especially if you have to come through a losers bracket in games. Like if you lose the first game of a regional, yeah, like that's, that's hard because now you're now you need a starter to, to eat up innings. Like I said, I think that the what, the problem that we knew and the way the weekend happened, just the way it happened, was exactly what we knew. The team was, and it's the situation you don't ever want them to be in. Whereas the Friday night guy is out of there quick, and now we're really having to use that bullpen because at the end of the day, it just it, it's tough. For and you start giving them extra outs, and then you're playing. It's, it's just yeah. tough. It's really tough. You start trying to extend guys that don't need to be extended. It's not ready to be extended. You're asking them to go back to backs a little bit more. Yep. Like that stuff. I will say this: if Blake Money can can write the ship, and he can give you extended innings, that's a big. That'll be a big plus. Going because. To make a run in the tournament, in the SC tournament specific, because honestly, the SC tournament is probably the hardest thing you're gonna play, you're gonna face until you get to the World Series, right? Like you obviously you have the regional or the super regional that you're playing, but as far as top to bottom, like SEC is obviously it. Yeah. And to make a run in that tournament, you're gonna have to have starters extend and go deep in games, and you know if he can't do that, you know is I don't expect stuff, him. Man? I don't expect him to win more than two, you know, one or two games, you know. I wouldn't expect him to win two, really. Uh, maybe two. I don't know, two. because you're giving up so many extra free bases or extra outs, and you, know, you don't have to pitch you Yeah, do and it. there's a lot. I mean, look, this is like two times this weekend they had a guy strike out, get on first. On pit, like that, like those things like that have to be a little bit cleaner because that's an out. Like that's both of them. One of them was a third out of the inning, and the guy got on. So it's just extra. Yeah. If you're going to do that with the bullpen – you cannot allow your pitcher to do throw an extra inning worth of pitches in a, in, in, a, in in one inning that should have been an out. Yeah, it's just hard with the catcher because your defense it always solidifies up. And the McManus can hit up in the middle. Yeah, yeah, he was great. We saw Alabama. Yeah, it's just sometimes. Yeah, you need this opportunity yeah. to cost them. right. Um, all right, that's all I got to say about the LSU Tigers. I think they're gonna be okay. I'm not saying they're not gonna be elite, but you know they're gonna be they they have. I don't say they're going to be okay. Like I think they're good enough to be okay, but there's going to need some changes need to be made going into the, the last weekend and the tournament. You want to some make... money Saturday? I don't care uh, what Dan oh, yeah. throws. I just would like to see him actually go out there and like they I said, need you need him. Start pitching with conviction. Start showing the talent that he actually has. You need him. You, know, you need him. Literally that simple. I don't you need, care. You have them. Think how much that opens up if you can have Mikhail go on Friday and then on a Saturday money can get you. Uh, look and look. I, I think they didn't give him the op- the opening Friday night start for no reason. Like, exactly. The talent's there. Stuff. Now it's show up. I think Ty Floyd should start. I like to see him get another get more opportunity to start. Hasey should get more. Like He's you have stuff. you have two or three guys that that have probably that you could that I, you could put in there that'd be like, okay. These guys are starters, right? Like that I, that wouldn't really affect your bullpen. Like Floyd is. I think he's earned his way into more innings, and he's probably earned his way into some starts. Hasty the same way. Now, you look at Blake Money. You got six seven, two forty, and he's got the stuff, and you see it, and he he passes the eye test. I, you know, you have that's a very um, enticing decision to put him in. 
Um, and if he like he's got the ability, if he can figure it out, that's great. But you have three guys that you need to put in those those two spots. If you're gonna let Dutton throw one pitch on Sunday, right. you're gonna have to put these other two guys on Saturday and Sunday to be able to start. I mean, have you ever seen someone who was just like, man, he has all the stuff and just kind of struggled like money in and at the end of the season comes back and it's just hey this is where we need you and he steps up and arises to the situation yeah so so now not to the same extent because yeah. Blake Money but like Anthony Renato's junior year mm-hmm. my sophomore year he had he was lights out the year before right all American pitched the first game of Omaha like no pitched the third game of Omaha the sighting game like he was very good Projected top five pick, and then he pitched, started the season throwing well, then he gets hurt. And he was not, he tried to pitch through injury, came back too early, and it was up and down. He wasn't pitching as good as he was capable of pitching. Goes back on the shelf for a little bit, and then comes back in the the last, like, week in tournament of the season. And he absolutely shoved in the SC tournament. Like, was throwing upper 90s again, throwing his big breaking ball, like dominant, like the old guy that we saw, right? And it just took some time for him to get comfortable. And, yeah, so, yeah, the guy that has shown flashes, I've seen it happen before. It's just that guy that's pitching has to have the, the mindset of saying, okay, it's my time. i got to make this happen. And that's when you get your lightning in the bottle moment mm-hmm. where he's like, oh, shit. Oh, man. And then, everybody, and then everybody's like, like where was this all year? Like, hey, sometimes – you say it takes some 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 bumps and bruises, and it takes sometimes getting punched in the face to figure out how to make the adjustment. Some guys can't make the adjustment, but when you do, yeah. you're that much better after. And it so gets everyone going. It takes a little bit of embarrassment, almost yep. if you will, to where you just you're almost like, nah, I'm not. We're not doing that anymore. Yeah, and it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. Now it's a thir- it's a quick turnaround Thursday, Friday, Saturday series, and then this, the regular Don't season's look, over. Dude. So, gotta go to Nashville. So I guess Nashville's a nice spot. Maybe that's what they need. Maybe they need to go to a nice spot, enjoy some time with the boys. Nashville hot. Yeah, you go to, you're going to go out there. You're going to see what. Like, Nashville hot. Hey, it's, yeah, it's uh, Broadway. What? We're going Broadway. You know, if you want to go on Broadway, cheap. go a little Stay bit. Away from it. Or go on and on. Maybe, right. maybe Jay gets him there early. Maybe he cancels the Northwest. I don't know if he's going to cancel it, but maybe. That's the conspiracy we had. I mean, look. Or if it's all about RP, it. it's all about RPI. Yeah, I'm really at it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not saying they're going to, but I would understand. Like, it's all if it's all about RPI, and you're going to a weekend where you can increase your RPI, yeah. playing Northwestern State is not going to do anything for you. I don't think he cancels the game, obviously, but I think he wants to see them play. He probably needs them to see them play, get that out their system. But yeah, you need to curb stomp them. Get out of your system. Play a perfect game with no Yeah, but that's errors. what they do in the Southeastern. They say they curb stomp Southeastern Tuesday and then look what yeah, they you did thought that was, Saturday. I thought that was the case. The like, damn, they, they're they getting hot and then – or they're hot and they kept hot and then they get this weekend they get – Would have never – if I would have put money like just on the weekend, I would have never put money on them getting swept. Same. Never. I can't even imagine what the odds would have been on that too. I did – you would have hit the over on all the games though. Yeah. Was that the first time – you were saying ever or just like under Bianco that almost swept LSU? At, at home. home. Ever. ever. At home. And the series started in 1906. Ever. 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 So I said, if he looks back on it, easily probably be his top five flop. Which, hopefully. They happen. In a Flops happen. Here, there will be so many highs that you won't even really yeah. care about it. But like, yeah, Flops know. happen. Yeah. All right, we're going to take a minute break. Regroup, reset. Um, LSU baseball. I get the panic, I get the upset, I get the the anger, and I get the frustration. They have a chance to go out there this weekend. Right, all is not lost. All is not lost. They're 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 gonna be in the postseason. They're gonna be playing postseason baseball. I can see it in Baton Rouge. You have to go out there, play well, have have a good show in the tournament, and we'll see what happens. All right, you're watching Mike Up, brought to you by Sterling Automotive. We're gonna take a minute break and reset, and we will be right back. 